The Story of Ing. Ing was driving down a winding road when he saw something shining. He was slowing down his car by braking and stopping. Ing was wondering, what is shining up in the sky? Looking, he saw something flying high. Was it a bird, a plane? He kept asking himself. Soon, a man who was hiking up the trail near the road stopped and asked Ing, Seeing you stopping your car, I was wondering, what are you looking for? Ing, looking up at the man, said, There is something flying in the sky, and it is shining in my eyes. The man, looking up to the sky, acting like he could see the shining, flying thing, replied to Ing, I am looking, but I am not seeing a thing. Ing, looking in the sky, pointing to the shining thing, said, There, swinging on the tree branch. See it shining? Ing and the man, both looking again, seeing something shining and blowing in the wind. Running to the tree, they see a red balloon falling to the ground and popping. Wasn't that a peculiar story? What's going on in this story? Did you notice some of the words? What was familiar with the words? A lot of them ended in I-N-G. That is right. Today we're going to talk about how to add I-N-G or ing to words to make them action words or verbs. The rules for adding I-N-G Two words are very simple. If the, if the word has a short vowel sound and one consonant, we double the consonant at the end, such as run. When you add ing to run, we would double in and make it running. Let me show you here. Running. Do it this way. There we go. Running. You noticed how run is a short vowel sound and it has one consonant at the end. But when we add the ing we must also add an N to make it running. We have another one here for you. What do we do with the word shop? Shop has a short vowel sound. When we add the ING, what do we add to it? We add a P. So now, Shop becomes shopping. You see how we did this? It's a short vowel sound, and so when you add the ing, it becomes shopping. Now, let's look here. What happens if it's a short vowel sound, but let's say it has two consonants at the end? When you add the ing to a word that has a short vowel sound and two consonants, we only add the ing. So here we have walk, and you notice the two consonants at the end, the L and the K. And now we're going to add the ing to walk, and what do we have? Walking. You see, we did not have to add another K because we have the L there as a helper. So it's just walking. Let's try another one. Here I have the word at. Now what do you notice about the word at? It's a, the short vowel sound of a, but it has two consonants at the end. So if we add ing to acting, let me find my card here, what do we do? 
we just add the ing. You don't double the T because we have C is the helper. So we have acting. Now, what do we do if it's a long vowel sound and we want to add an ing? Long vowel sounds such as drive has a silent E. So what would we do with that silent E if I wanted to add the ing? We would drop the silent E and just have driving. Words with a long vowel sound ending in a silent E, you drop the E. Let's try another word. Here we have bake. Now bake is a long A sound. So if we add our ING, oops, wrong card, sorry. If we add our ING, we're going to take off the E because it's silent and replace it with ING and get baking. Okay, let's, let's do a little activity here together. And I have our board, which if we were in a classroom, we would have this posted. And our board is saying adding ing to these words. Now we have the first word is hope. Would you just add the ing to hope? Would you drop the e? Is it silent? Or are the last two letters a double consonant? Hope is a long o sound with a silent E, correct. So we would just add the I, N, G, and drop the E sound, hoping. Okay, let's do one more. What about C, S, E, E? That's a long vowel sound. There's no consonant at the end of C S E E is just two vowels. What would we do there? There's no silent E because the double E's make the E sound. Would we? There's no double last letters, no double last consonants, I'm sorry. What would we do? We would add I N G. Very good. So we would just add I N G to see and make it seeing. So now let's go back to our original story about ing and we'll have a lesson and we will start writing different words that end in ing.